We're lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubt in the sanctuary of the Lord to praise you, magnify you, Lord. We're lifting up holy hands. Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five-minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. Ecclesiastes 1, 2 to 3 provides as follows. Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor, which he taketh under the sun? Here we see the writer speak about the vanity of the work of men. Now we all know that in order to make a living in this world today, we must work. Work is necessary to receive money and money is necessary to eat and to have a roof over our head and clothes on our back. All of that requires money, so all of that requires labor. But in the end, how are we profited by the work we do in this world. The book of Ecclesiastes searches all of the things that men do to bring about pleasure and happiness and joy and fulfillment. But he notices that none of these result in the peace that man so desperately is searching for. No, you will not find peace in the things that you work for or the things that you purchase or the things that you add to your collection of possessions. The only way that you will find peace the only way that you will find joy is to work the work of the Lord. See, the only thing in our lives that will be eternal is our soul and the works that we do for the Lord. We may witness and win someone to Christ, then they have a chance at eternal life. So while we're working to survive on this plane, let us work to fulfill the commission that our Heavenly Father has given each of us. Father God, we thank you for this world that you have given us. We thank you that you have given us the ability to make wealth. But Lord, we don't want that wealth to be our end goal because our end goal is to be with you in glory. Lord, we want to fulfill the great commission and win others to you through the words of our testimony. So as we travel in and out to and fro, it is our prayer that you would let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, 
Please like and subscribe. May God continue to bless you.